Welcome to take two. All right, so you've shaved with your uh, Rockwell 6S, which is right here, and you shaved with your 6C Rockwell. And you know that we've got these different plates that we put under, depending on how aggressive, or how not aggressive, I guess, uh, you want your shave. And the same thing with the, uh, with the Rockwell 6S. So I'm going to pick one because basically, if you're going to clean these, they're going to be both be cleaned in the same way. At least the way I clean them. Now, there are probably different ways that you guys are cleaning them. But frankly, I like to have all my razors look like they just came out of the razor, uh, out of the factory rather. If I shave with them once or a hundred times. I think that clean razors uh, shave easier. And that's probably my, uh, <laughs> it's the way my mind is warped. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, let's get into this right away. Uh, welcome to take two. All right, what I've done is let's assume that we've got this razor now. We're going to take it apart. We've shaved with it. And I'm going to take these other parts here and move them off to the side. These are all the tools that I use over here. I have some Q-tips that I use. I have some real mild toothpaste, uh, a broken toothbrush, and a large paper clip. Uh, in one of my last videos, I think I called it a toothpick. It's a paper clip. It really is. I've got a Kleenex, a cotton Kleenex, and I have a terry cloth dish cloth, face cloth. All right, so we got this apart now. We've rinsed it off under the sink, hot water. And what I do is I'll take a bar of soap and I'll scrub a little bit of, get a little soap on here after it's wet. And I'll just go over this whole thing, this thing. We Let's call it a plate. Just like this, both sides, I'll scrub it down really well. In here, if there's anything there, usually there's not. Okay, and then I'll get in between here, like this, and I'll just scrub it down really well. Okay, that's part of it. Now we'll set that off to the side. Next thing I'll do is I'll take my Q-tips, I'll wet one end of it, and then I'll go around the screw attachment here where the the actual head attaches to the, the base plate, like right in here, around the edge. And these little grooves that you see up and down here, I'll go up and down there to try to clean those as much as I possibly can. Same thing over on this side. All right, I'm not too much worried about this side of it because I just usually rub it against a terry cloth towel and it shines right up just about like new. Now we come to the part, this takes the next easiest thing before I get to the more difficult one. We've got this. What are we going to clean on? Well, we can buff it up, but I like to get in here and I get it in as far as I possibly can, and I twist it just about like that, and I take it out, I shake it just to make sure all the water's out, and I and I don't reattach all the parts. I'll leave them like you know separate for maybe overnight, and then I put them back together because I want to make sure everything's dry inside and also here. Sometimes what I'll do is I will take. This, these grooves here, they get clogged up sometimes with soap, right there. Let's move this out of the way, right there. And I'll take a tissue, and I'll take the tissue, and I'll just do this here to make sure that all the soap is gone off of the threads. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go into this. All right, we, now we have a problem. How are we going to, the tooth, the tooth, or not the tooth, but the Q-tips won't fit in here. It will fit in here, so I'll, I'll go in and out of here a few times to make sure it's shiny out of the attachment holes. Okay, but we're still left with this, so what do I do? All right, what I did is I took a, a large paper clip and I bent it, and you have the small end here, and then you've got the larger end here. And actually, I'm going to use the larger end like a handle. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can take a, a tissue, like Kleenex or Puffs, and you can fold it over like this if you want to. And then you can the smaller end will go in here perfectly, and you can see it's come through the other side. The problem is that it breaks, just like you can see here. You can see the paper clip, it just breaks. Let me uh, close that up a little bit. We'll get in a little closer so you can see it, I think. All right, let's get in further. Okay, just like that. Now you can see that. Just put it down on a table. Right there. All right, you should be able to see it. Anyway, what happens is the, the tissue comes off of it and it kind of gets all gunky. Let's move this out a little bit. So as an alternative, I'm going to stick this off the side, and I take a handkerchief. They're made out of cotton, and they're usually pretty thin, 
And I tried this and it, it really works. So I just take a little piece and I fold it over. Again, I grab it like this. And now this one I can push in and you can see it doesn't break there. It stays solid. So now I can, I go back and forth like that and, and I check it to make sure it's all highly polished. I go up and down the edges a little bit. Like that. It won't fit in the hole, but it will fit in these little grooves and you gotta keep those things clean. If you don't, they're gonna get all gunky and it'll look like something you bought off of eBay that's used. Same thing now with the 6S. Do the same thing. It'll fit in here perfectly. All right. Now, when you get done with that, if by any chance that you haven't cleaned it, let's say in a month or two, you can take a toothbrush, put a little, get it wet, put some toothpaste on it, and you don't want the real gritty toothpaste, just the real, any type of toothpaste, but you don't want the, uh, the whitening toothpaste because it has more grit in it. Just get the plain old toothpaste, put a little bit on the brush, and you can scrub it, and this will get all the soap off like this here. If you want to, you can soak it overnight in some Dawn uh, dish, dish uh, soap if you want to to help clean it. And then just go through the process with the paper clip. Uh, once you get done with that, what I'll do is I'll take the dish rag or the face cloth and I'll wipe it like that. And to get, to get the shine back on it, it would be just like brand new. Just like new. And then I'll put it together and it'll be just like came out from the factory. Uh, remember, a clean razor shaves better. At least it's in my head it does. And uh, you won't regret it. You just don't want it to get real messy. You spend enough time buying all this and spend a lot of money for these, you might as well take care of them. And they'll last for years and years. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, if you have a way of cleaning it that's better than what I just showed you, let me know below. I'm going to put a couple more videos up in the corners that I think uh, a couple of them I handpicked for you that will tell you a little bit more about the 6S. Uh, see, this is a 6S and the 6C. 6S means stainless steel and the 6C means chrome plated. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribing. And give it a thumbs up if you like this type of uh, uh, video. And um, if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, then you'll find out future videos that I have. So thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.